Now we're gonna show you some of the details when installing a resurfacing on a concrete patio. In this case here, on our last grid, you can see it's a little long and we need to be able to install this transition paver that fits on top of the grid here so it fits to the edge of the patio. Therefore, I'm gonna to need to cut right here and cut a smaller piece. I'll be right back. made the cut and as you can see that these are a little different and this is the side that continues your pattern so that goes right in here and then that is at the edge and I've cut it so that this transition paper will fit snugly and right to the edge of the concrete now I want to show you an important part of the system is that it's interlocking you'll see here the pattern we have today is basket weave and this pattern and these pavers will interlock by straddling one grid to another. So you can see right here, we have a grid here and we have surrounding grids. So as I continue this pattern, the pavers interlock these two grids to these two grids. And as I go down here, they're not interlocking there, but they're interlocking here. So how do I interlock to these two grids is right here. So all throughout this pattern will interlock and keep this paver system tight on top of your resurfaced patio. So now we're gonna show how we do the edge here on a resurfaced patio. So we want this right here so that it's flush with the edge. And you'll notice when I put these in, I'm gonna have a gap where I need to cut. Um, I'll put that one in later. So I'm gonna to need to take these and cut these, rip them so that I have pieces in here. So I'm going to take a measurement. I've got an inch and three quarter. You want to leave a little space, a little gap for expansion and contraction. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these an inch and three quarter. I'll be right back. Now we're ready to install these cut pieces. Like so. And then next I'm going to show you how to fasten the transition pavers. Okay. So now we're going to install the transition paver. You notice they do not have legs, so it's very important that we both glue and screw these down. So I'm gonna put this here, and you see how it fits nicely. And then right here is where I'm going to attach the adhesive around these raised areas. Put about a, about a 3 8 inch wide, be generous, and go all the way down. And then I'm gonna take this paper here, slide that in, and then attach a screw right here. You hit the grid with the screw, so noticing the pattern, you want to put the screw in so that you make sure you attach it to the grid. So now I'm going to continue adhering these. These are loosely laid right now. I'm going to continue to put the adhesive here and here and a screw and continue it all the way down to all these are secure. 